2022 did not start with the results Penn State had hoped for or deserved. When the sky falls and the sun turns black, when the earth holds, then don't look back. How now do you get over that last turtle and change that result to? You have to have the experiences and learn from them. Like you can't just talk about it, have a meeting, and all of a sudden you get it. And it's a, it's a process. It's I think that as long as you have the right attitude, and that's a part of culture. Mm -hmm. If you have the right attitude and the right leadership to learn from these experiences, they can be very valuable. But you can't start change it. Like you can't. There's no shortcut for it. You have to go through. Nothing can break us when we rise. We run on the edge. They look for results against Wisconsin. Wall control slides it below the near ring. Kerwin scores! Ryan Kerwin power play goal! And they got them. Near circle tees it up and drive. He scores! Connor McMenamin! From good defense came great offense. Pelton in a shot, top of the far circle, block comes free. Go, 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 two, two. Kent drives the goal, he'll drag, fire, and score! Connor McMenamin, top shelf snipe! The Nittany Lions were imposing their game on the Badgers. Six goals! Copeland walks out front, Kerwin still loose, slot wall, drags, fires, Safe rebound, score! Ryan Kerwin, top shelf, kicks it in, 4 nothing. And this is a Penn State team right now that has a lot of buy-in and a lot of belief. Sweep them tomorrow. The hottest ticket in town is right here inside Pagula Ice Arena. The best atmosphere in college hockey. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It is a force like no other. It is the best student section in all of college hockey. Add in the annual wear white game and you have a night to remember. Dowd backdoor, settled there. Copeland centers, Kerwin, he scores! Ryan Kerwin buries it! Copeland right on his tape out front in the low slot. This was Penn State hockey. Calmly cool under pressure, creatively hot on offense. To the Penn State line, it springs. Now lead pass back to the Badger line. Starlo, Penn State three on one. Pass into the slot. Kerwin lets it fly. He scores! Ryan Kerwin, what a snipe! And the crowd wearing white is going nuts! It's 2 nothing, Penn State! But they were all just getting started revving up with speed and finesse. Back out to center, Grattan's out. Copeland darts into the attacking zone. Two on one, pivots, Wisconsin recovers. Center's wall dangles into the slot, filthy! Back door, stopped in! Penn State scores! Put it on the highlight reel! It's Tyler Grattan with the goal! The highlight reel was getting full because Penn State was playing their game in front of a wall of white. Dowd leaves it back in his own zone for Schoen. Two trailers here. Schoen motoring right to left. Through center ice, gains the attacking end. Schoen a far circle shot. He scores! What a snipe again! It is so much fun to watch and be a part of freshmen finding their game and voice on the ice and in the stands, uniting as one. Passes it, Geneve drags it, does not let it fly, and scores! There's pandemonium and Pagula!
What an atmosphere, what a place to play. Dowd high slot, McEachern drags, fires, and scores! There goes the roof! 6-2, Andy Lyons, power play goal, Connor McEachern! Centered, shown, tight angle, shot, he's got it! For a team climbing the Big Ten standings, it is nice to know they will always be number one in the hearts and minds of the best student section in college hockey. This one was for them, a family of success shared. A week later, the top team in the Big Ten had all eyes watching them. The young Lions were having fun. Let's work hard out there. Yeah! A hockey party with the pizza provided by Coach Godowski with an extra topping of the game's first goal. Schoen rattling around at the Ohio State line. Penn State gains the zone. Kerwin will spin it along for Schoen. Out front, Janiev dangles. He scores! Danny Janiev stops it in. Past the right pad of Gomez. one nothing. Penn State. Kerwin wins the battle, finds a way to get it to Schoen near half wall, and then a phenomenal pass by Ben Schoen to Janiev. But Ohio State took a 2-1 lead deep into the third period. to shake on free and does. Jania backdoor settled down, weaves in tight, stuffs it toward the goal, score! Tie game! Tie game! Ben Schoen slams it in! 2-2! 1408 to go in the third! Ben Schoen in the net mouth as well, Jimmy Dowd Jr. snaked his way around Dobesh from below the far circle, sent it into a gaping goal crease, and Schoen the fearless freshman tied the game and put the momentum on Penn State's side, with the ice seemingly tilted in favor of the Nittany Lions for the rest of the third period. Despite the sweat and efforts, they could not get the go-ahead goal in a game destined for overtime. I would put Penn State since the calendar is turned to 2022, they're playing as well as anyone in the country right oh, now. Oh, uh, without a doubt. Crucial Big Ten point and a win still available. Madam in your circle, chugs towards the goal, throws it on, loose, scramble there, save Dobesh! Two players behind him in his grace. Herculoff, Penn State zone, shakes towards the slot, fires on, Sully other save the rebound, whacked out of there. Overtime didn't produce a winner either. And we'll go to a shootout here tonight to decide the extra point in Big Ten play. Charges to the goal and slips it under the left pad and scores on the forehand shot. Eric Cooley scores for Ohio State and now Penn State must score. Coach Godowski made a wise choice. 
Beckman on the forehand has it. Across the Buckeye line, far circle at top, the far circle in time, fires and scores! Connor McEachern clock side, and the shootout continues. Pivots at the far faceoff circle, dangles and tries to slip in five hole. Soulier rejects him. Penn State now can win it here in the shootout. Again, Godowski tugged on the right jersey. Showing across the Buckeye line to win the game. Between the circles on the forehand, waits, waits, delays, and shoots and scores! Ben shown in the shootout wins it! Penn State streams off the bench, across the ice, to swarm shown along the glass. The month was coming to a close. The effort and attitude that was there when it started was still there, and now it was getting results. Teams are built on tradition, and of the many traditions surrounding this team, few compete with the passing of Thor's hammer. But how are traditions born? Sometimes they spawn from a single fan who fought as hard as anyone on the ice. My name's Gary Engelthaler. You probably know me better as Thor, and this is my Penn State hockey story. So I got here in 2013, best decision I ever made in my life. I go to the Spirit Halloween and uh, I, tr I try on the Thor costume and my mom just goes, yeah, yeah, we're buying that. This was also the year that Pagula opened up, which is the craziest hockey arena I've ever been in. I was talking to my roommate, Chris, and he just came up with this idea, why don't you, why don't you wear your costume? So I did and uh, had a blast, but we found out that the team loved it. And uh, so I did it again and again, and it kind of just became a thing. Um, then I got to meet Coach Godowski, who, if anyone has ever met him even once, knows the dude is the most authentic, kind person you'll meet. Come that summer, uh, I'm getting ready to come back for my senior year, and my doctor tells me, you need three surgeries. Each one's gonna be 15 hours long. We're gonna shave off part of your spine. We're gonna put a bunch of screws and rods in you and you may never walk again. Gary was born with a rare condition called spina bifida and he would have to undergo three serious operations. Doctors told Gary that without the surgeries he could become paralyzed and that he would have to have two rods 18 screws, 64 staples, and 164 stitches placed into his back. I'm sitting in the hospital, and this is the craziest part. A package shows up, and this is in it. Uh, a blue one's in it, hats are in it, uh, a card's in it, it's signed by the whole team, and my mom just started bawling. We, I didn't even know that they knew that I had surgery. I didn't tell them. My parents, they uh, put the, they helped me get the wig on, the jersey on, and we did some like pictures from the hospital to send them just to let them know like, this is crazy, thank you so much. Um, it definitely helped me get back on my feet. But then the next couple months was the hardest part. And uh, we get a phone call going, hey Thor, we, want, we're, uh, we got a game coming up in Madison Square Garden. I was wondering if you could come. So my first outing after having three life-changing surgeries and having to teach myself how to walk again, my first outing instead of a nice little stroll around the block was to Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Go figure. Of all people, Coach Godowski shows up in the crowd in Madison Square Garden grabbing my wheelchair. Again, my mom started crying when she realized who it was. Pushed me down to the locker room and that's where the hammer came into play. I just say I've been going through a lot the past few months. Not, not many things were able to get me to smile. You guys did for me. That, that got me. 
We were we were all smiling, we were all crying, and I actually just gave Coach his own hammer for you guys. I'm afraid to go out of the house just to go around the block because I think the light sensitivity is going to mess me up. And they got me up on my feet so much I went to the city that never sleeps with all the bright lights and made it work. This whole school just has that effect on people. Uh, so I wanted to give back in some way I could. And I just figured the hammer was the best way I could do it. And he has been able to be with us at the start of the year because of the back surgery, but he's back now. And this, and this is, is the, the first day that they get back in the student, student section, section with, with the students. students. So, so I hope, hope, hope you all help, help us. us. We, we want to commemorate this. this. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Uh, uh, we, we have, have a authentic, authentic Thor, Thor hammer. So, so Thor. I believe Coach reached out and had this idea of giving it to a player who fought the hardest. The idea that that's what the whole tradition kind of became, that it doesn't even necessarily go to the guy who played the best, it goes to the guy who fought the hardest, that is probably the whole part that got me the most. Because um, it was like kind of Coach's way of saying, we see the fight you went, and we're, we, we like to fight too. It's, it's that little, ma it's that magic feeling like when you step on the ice. Uh, everything around you, all the stuff you're dealing with, in that moment when you're in the zone, it doesn't exist. So when I would come to these games, when I'd put the wig on, when I'd put the outfit on, when I'd put the cape on, pick up the hammer, the works, all the problems I had at the time were just gone. <laughs> If a player's watching it, if, if you ever won it, that's awesome. Take pride in it, and I guess try to win it again. This guy was going all night, RK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy does little things. From now on, that's how we play. Uh, when he cut it out in the third period, we got a lot of guys, but uh, gonna give it to the guy who won his battles all over the ice. First has a Nittany line tonight, Philly. Yeah. I think this could go to a lot of guys, but Scott, I don't know how much this guy showed in box score, but he won every battle and he played Penn State hockey all night. Denny. There are all kinds of traditions in collegiate sports, but few were born out of a story as heartwarming as Thor's hammer. Just another of the many reasons why Penn State remains so special to so many people. Keep it up. Yeah! Doug Thor, fall out. Yeah, First of all, shout out Thor. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a sweep. I could give this to literally. 10 people, Swaggy Boy Turbo, here you go. Yeah! Big, big 10 sweep this weekend, let's keep going next weekend. Yeah!